Introducing today's contestants. Our first guest comes from Omaha, Nebraska. She is a first grader who hopes to be a veterinarian someday. Please welcome Sky Meyer. <laughs> Our second guest is a first grader, a big seven-year-old who hopes to be the first president of the United States. Please welcome Penelope. Yeah! <laughs> welcome to Sky's Animal Adventures Jeopardy edition. For today's show, they are going to play on the same team to see how many points they can get total. They will alternate taking turns to answer whichever clue in whatever category they would like. We have Animals of the Arctic, Animals of the desert, animals of the forest, and animals of the meadow. Are you girls ready to get started? Yes! <laughs> okay, animals of the Arctic for 200 points. This is the type of bear that lives in the Arctic. A polar bear. 200 points for Sky <laughs> and Penelope. <laughs> yeah! In the category of animals of the meadow. Many meadows in the Midwest provide habitat for animals. Which part of the country is the Midwest? Is it A, Western states, B, in the middle, or C, in the east? B! In the middle! 800 points for Penelope and Sky, which brings a grand total to 1,000. Okay, Penelope selected animals of the forest for 800 points. The question is, this jungle primate can be six times stronger than a human and they can weigh up to 500 pounds. Hint, King Kong. Gorilla, yes! Gorilla is correct. Animals of the meadow for 400. Many animals that live on the prairie eat grass, plants, and veggies. They are known as herbivores, which means they don't eat what? Meat. That is correct for 400 points. <laughs> Action. She got all serious. Animals of the meadow for 600. These large animals of the prairie can weigh 1,000 pounds and they can run 35 miles per hour. Hint, their name starts with a B. Um, that's easy. I'm sorry, the answer we were looking for was buffalo. The rainforests of South America are home to the largest snake in the world. What snake is it? Is it A, anaconda, B, the striker snake, C, the fang viper, or D, the southern slither sneaker? <laughs> anaconda. Good thing Penelope helped with that one. You two are correct. 400 more points. <laughs> Penelope has selected animals of the desert for 600 points. This one, if you get it right, you get 400 extra bonus points. So this clue is worth $1,000 should you get it right. The clue is, some desert animals, like the fennec fox, are nocturnal. What does the word nocturnal mean? It's awake, it's awake at night and sleep at, at day. That is correct for 1,000 points. <laughs> we wrong at this game. Animals of the forest. Animals of the forest for 600. This forest- No, 900. It's 600. 900. <laughs> you wish, you're trying to get more points. Yeah, the bucks. We want the bucks. <laughs> this forest reptile looks similar to a dinosaur. It has long snout, tons of teeth, and loves to swim in murky water. Hammer shark. So close, we are looking for alligator. Animals of the Arctic for 600 points. Who can name the Arctic flyer that eats rabbits, squirrels, and weasels? Its wingspan can be four and a half feet wide. Hint, its name is three letters long. The Arctic owl. That is correct. This one. Yes, yes. It, it is a 300 extra bonus Just points. Five. So 500 total if you get it right. Name three animals that live in meadows. Bees, bees, and goats. Correct. These little forest insects love to eat wood. Thankfully, they don't often bite humans. A pelican. We were going for termite. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Uh -huh. 
This forest reptile looks similar to... <laughs> Animals of the Arctic for 800. This is the Arctic swimmer who is known as the unicorn of the sea. It can live in Canada, Russia, and even Greenland. And Norwal! Norwal is correct. Ah! Animal does not live in the Arctic. A, a whale. B, a fox. C, a snake. Or D, a wolf. Snake. Snake is correct, Penelope, for 400 points. We're gonna win! The desert horned, the chuckwalla, the zebra tailed, and the desert iguana are all types of which animal? Lizard! Lizard is correct for 800 more points! Is a first grader who hopes to be the first president of the United States. Please welcome Penelope! Episode. And make sure to subscribe because we might have